While teachers will be preparing students for the external assessment, but there's a few things that students can do for themselves as well. Um, one good resource is the student guide in the MyQC website. That uh, student guide has some excellent practical tips for getting prepared for the EA. Um, it also includes a description of the technique for every HAS subject, well indeed for every general subject, and it also includes the equipment lists. It is important that students have checked the equipment list for their particular HAS subjects. There is an approved equipment list for all examinations, but a few HAS subjects do have some additional equipment required. So you can check all of that in the uh, student guide in MyQCE. Students can also check past papers from 2020. Um, obviously the questions will be different. They can give students an idea of how a paper is laid out, the different examination books, um, the instructions that they can expect to see on an external examination. So that will help students feel confident with uh, what to expect on the day. All HAS subjects include 15 minutes of planning time and it's a really good idea to have some strategies coming into the examination for how to make best use of that planning time. The number of lines provided in the response space gives an indication of uh, the depth of response or length of response that's required. So it's really important that students take notice of the response space in planning time and that will really help them to manage and plan how much time to spend on each question in the examination. In planning time, students cannot mark the question and response book, but they can write and plan on the planning paper provided and uh, if there's an additional book such as a stimulus book. All external assessment in the humanities and social sciences includes the use of stimulus materials and the stimulus is designed to be read during the planning time. When you're reading the stimulus materials during planning time, I think it's really important to also be reading the question. That way, when you do engage with the stimulus, you're looking for the themes, the ideas, the concepts that the question is focusing on, and that avoids spending time thinking uh, about other things that aren't the particular focus of the question. Students will have practiced the way that stimulus is used in their particular HASS subjects and they will have been practicing those skills in the classroom and they're the skills that they'll apply in the external examination. I'd really encourage students to go to the MyQC website and look up all of the information there on external assessment. There's lots of information there for them that will um, help them to plan and prepare well and be organised for external assessment in 2021.